Okay, 6.8 is the same thing as 6.7. It's just harder. Okay? 6.8, solving tricky equations. So we'll just do what we did last time. I will have you find all solutions, and then those that are between 0 and 360, and that will be the end of the problem. Okay? So for each problem, solve for all values of the angle that satisfies the equation, then list the answers between 0 and 2 pi. I will work in radians, okay, just because, but if you need degrees, um, you can raise your hand. Okay, so for my first example, the one I picked was this one, and these are all problems from the Sullivan book, I believe. So, we have 2 cosine squared theta plus cosine theta minus 1 equals 0. So you'll notice right off the bat, this is already more complicated. You've got a cosine squared and a cosine in the same problem. So what I would recommend doing is just pretend it's like, it's kind of like doing 2x squared plus x minus 1 equals 0, you know? You would factor it, you know, like 2x minus 1 times x plus 1. And after factoring it, you would set each one of these equal to 0. To turn it into two problems, you take each factor and set it equal to zero, and you get x equals a half, and you get x equals negative one, see? So we're going to pursue the exact same logic here. We're going to factor this into two cosine theta minus one times cosine theta plus one. We'll set the first factor equal to zero. theta there. And we'll set the second factor equal to zero. And then you just solve it. So you would add one divided by two, so you get cosine theta is a half. And on the next one, just subtract one. It's almost exactly like solving a quadratic, except now you have to figure out what the angles are. Okay? So the angles that make sense here are 0, I'm sorry, uh, what am I saying? I meant to say 60 degrees and 300, okay? Or we can just write pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. And don't forget the 2 pi k, or if you're a degree fan, fan is short for fanatic, uh, then you can use 360k. Uh, this over here on the right, cosine theta equals negative 1, that's going to give me another answer. That gives me 180, or also known as pi, plus 2 pi k. Okay, so I'll write my answer for all possible angles in blue here. For all possible angles, we have pi over 3 plus 2 pi k, 5 pi over 3, plus 2 pi k, and pi plus 2 pi k, which can be abbreviated as 2k plus 1 times pi. If you can factor this. I'll show you on, on the left here. I just pulled out a pi from this expression. See the red? Okay, so these are all my angles. If I want angles that are between 0 and 360, That would basically be pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, and pi. So we're asked to do both, so we do both. Okay, any questions? All right, let's look at another example. So the variety, we want to see some variety here, so... That one was just straight up factoring as a first step. Question? Just a quick question in between as we're moving on. Um, I've noticed all day when you put it in interval notation, the 0 to 2 pi, you keep putting a parentheses on the 2 pi half y and y. Uh, that's because I do not want to include 0 and 2 pi. Let's say that 0 was an answer. I wouldn't want 2 pi to also be an answer. Those These are the exact same, same spot. Yeah. So book does the same thing. So you just do it, though. You don't have to do the same. Yeah, that way you're not doing okay. more than one full cycle. Good question. 
Okay, let's go to the next question. So the next one, same instructions, but you'll notice it's already factored for you. It's already factored. So why factor, you know? There's no point. And don't FOIL. Then you're just working backwards. It's factored. That's nice. So we're happy about that. Already factored. Now, of course, if the right side is not zero, if the right side is not zero, then you need to FOIL it out. You need the right side to be zero when it's factored. But it is. So let's get started right away on breaking this into two problems. The first one is tan theta minus 1 equals 0. And the second one is sec theta minus 1 equals 0. Two possibilities. Okay, let's solve the first one by adding 1 and consulting our unit circle. Pi over 4 plus 2 pi k and 5 pi over 4 plus 2 pi k. Why not just do pi over 4 plus pi k? So this will include, this will automatically include 5 pi over 4. So we don't have to list it. The little plus pi k will take care of that. Remember, tangent is a little bit easier to work with. OK, now let's go to the next problem over here. Secant theta equals 1. This basically just means that cosine of theta is 1. Wouldn't cosine theta be 1 also? OK, so that would only happen at 0 degrees. That's kind of rare. So theta is 0 radians uh, plus 2 pi k. Or you could just put 2 pi k. OK, so answers in blue. All thetas, my answers would be theta equals pi over 4 plus pi k, and theta equals 2 pi k. Those are for all possible thetas. If we want to stick to angles just between 0 and 2 pi, theta is pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. and 0. All right. Ready for a third example. Am I going too fast? Also, if you missed the end of an example, you can just look at the video, too. So, Or just get it from someone else. Let's go to the next one. So the next problem we have 2 sine squared theta equals 3 times 1 minus cosine theta. And what's troublesome about this problem is the fact that the left side has sines and the right side has cosines. That's bad. But it's a sine squared, so this can be replaced with 1 minus cosine squared, right? So it's not really that troublesome after all. So let's just go ahead and do that replacement. So we're going to replace this with 1 minus cosine squared. And if we distribute everything, we get 2 minus 2 cosine squared theta, and this side is 3 minus 3 cosine theta. And this looks almost like example 1 now. You know, it's got that quadratic look. You've got cosine squareds and cosines in the same problem. So let's just bring everything to the right side. Okay. So we're going to get 0 equals 2 cosine squared theta minus 3 cosine theta plus 1. And this time it factors into 2 cosine theta minus 1 and cosine theta minus 1 
And then I'm just going to put C example one after that because we don't need to pursue this problem, guys. We did this already in example one. You're going to make it into two problems and solve the data. So I don't want to spend too long on that. You need to see more variety. You don't need to see more repetition, right? Okay, so let's go to our next example. Okay, next example looks like this. Cosine of 2 theta plus 6 sine squared theta is equal to 4. Okay, so what's troublesome about this problem is we've got some incompatible stuff, right? We've got a cos 2 theta, and then here we have a sine of theta. Those seem hopelessly different. But cos 2 theta has three possible replacements, right? This can be replaced with, okay, now you choose. Should I use cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta? Two cosine squared theta minus one, or one minus two sine squared theta? Yeah, the third one would be your most desirable because it's going to match the rest of the problem, right? If you replace this with 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, it's going to uh, add it nicely with this 6 sine squared theta that we've already got. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to choose this one. Sometimes you have to decide your best options, right? And it's going to look like this. 1 minus 2 sine squared theta plus 6 sine squared theta equals 4. And then these are just like terms. You know? You got six sine squareds and you're taking away two sine squareds. That leaves you with four of them. So it looks like this. One plus four sine squared theta equals four. Subtract one. Divide by four. Square root both sides. Don't forget the plus or minus. And you get the following answers. For all possible thetas, you're going to get pi over 3 plus 2 pi k. 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k, 4 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k, and 5 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k. If you're just thinking between 0 and 360, theta would just be pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. Okay? So that one started out tough, but with the replacement, it looked a lot like a 6.7 question, you know, something from last night. So that's what these are. These are just like either two 6.7 problems built into one problem, or they're just in disguise because of identities. Let's do another, do another example here. Sometimes the simplest looking ones are the most confusing. So, next example. What if it just says something like cosine of theta minus sine of theta equals zero? Like, what do you do with that? Well, you can use your common sense on this. If you add the sine theta to the other side, It says cosine theta equals sine theta. So where does that happen? Yes, at pi over 4. At pi over 4, we have root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, right? So cosine theta is equal to sine theta. And this also happens down here at 
3 pi over 4, where the coordinates match. So you just jump right in and say, OK, uh, theta is pi over 4. I'll just do blue because I'm ready to write my final answer here. Uh, we've got pi over 4 plus 360, right? 360k. And this should be a 5 pi over 4, guys. I'm in quadrant um, 3 there. Sorry. Fix that. I meant to write 5 pi over 4 plus 2 pi k. Or you could just write pi over 4 plus pi k. That would capture the 5 pi over 4 also. Sometimes you can see how to consolidate. Sometimes you can't see it so clearly, but usually there's a way to clean it up a bit. Uh, if you're just doing 0 to 2 pi, then of course it's just theta equals pi over 4, and just theta equals 5 pi over 4. There's like six different ways to do the same problem. You can also square both sides. That's a really interesting way to do it. You can also, on this step right here, you can divide by uh, cosine on both sides, and you get 1 equals tangent. And you can pretend it's a tangent problem from that point on. I would strongly recommend against dividing by variables in general, though. Take a look at this next problem. Let's say you had, this is going to be our last example today, sine 2 theta times cosine theta equals sine theta. Okay, so what you see here are a sine on one side and cosine on the other, and the sine to theta, that thing is not compatible with either of the others. So you need to replace the sine to theta with its identity. Two sine theta cos theta. Okay? So replace with two sine theta cos theta. Just that guy. All right, so now it looks like this on the left. 2 sine theta cos theta cos theta, or you could say cos squared theta. Okay, I want to just warn you here. Do not divide by sine, okay? Or you will lose some answers. Do not cross out the signs. You will lose a whole set of answers. So what we want to do on this is bring everything to one side, like this. and factor out the sign. Like that. OK, that's much safer than dividing by sign or something. So I want to make a little note here. Don't divide by sine theta. It's tempting. And don't cross it out. Just factor it out. Safer. Okay, this is going to lead us down two roads now, two possible roads. We have either sine theta equals zero, or we have two cosine squared theta minus one equals zero. From this, I learned that theta is zero radians plus two pi k, or also pi radians plus two pi k. So it's either 0, or pi, or 2 pi, or 4 pi, or 3 pi. This can all be consolidated, by the way, into simply k pi. k pi. Because you've got uh, 0 pi, 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi. That's the first one. This one is 1 pi, 3 pi, 5 pi, 7 pi, 9 pi. So this just basically boils down to k pi. This other one here, you have two options. You can uh, add 1, and then divide by 2, and then square root, and then treat it that way. Or you, can, you might recognize this. Does this look familiar? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cos 2 theta? OK, so let's just do that. Let's change this to cos 2 theta. Uh, 
uh, cos 2 theta equals 0, which makes 2 theta equal to pi over 2 plus 2 pi k, or 3 pi over 2 plus 2 pi k. And then or dividing by 2, you get the answers pi over 4 plus pi k and 3 pi over 4 plus pi k. So in blue I'll write all my possible answers. So theta is k pi, theta is pi over 4 plus k pi, and theta is 3 pi over 4 plus k pi. If you're looking for answers just between 0 and 2 pi, in green I have those. I've got uh, 0 pi and 1 pi. That comes from my k pi up top there. So 0 pi, pi over 4. I can add pi to that. 5 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. Or you can add pi to that, 7 pi over 4. Final answer. All right, keep an eye on Enmodo for your worksheet. Have a great day. Thanks, Larry.